How's it going YouTube? This is the Crypto Gorilla. In the last video, we checked out ShakePay and how you could buy and sell as well as earn free Bitcoin using their app. Today, we're gonna to be looking at another Canadian exchange, Coinberry. So right here, we have Coinberry's website. And if we scroll down, we can see that they offer Bitcoin and Ethereum like ShakePay, but they also offer Litecoin, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, and Stellar. So if you want a few extra coins, this might be a good option for you. If you haven't already signed up to Coinberry and you want to, be sure to use the referral link in the description and we'll each get a $20 referral bonus. So Coinberry offers free deposit and withdrawals as well as zero trading fees. The only way they make money is by charging you a markup or premium of roughly anywhere between zero, but it obviously won't be zero, to 2.5%. So although they do not charge trading fees, if you're looking to day trade, I wouldn't use this option due to the potential 2.5% that you're gonna to have to pay every time you buy and sell, it works both ways. But if you just wanna get into Bitcoin, Ethereum, Stellar, and hold, this is probably a great option for you. The way this video is gonna work, the first half is gonna be split up for desktop, and the second half, I'm gonna do everything on the mobile app. So if you only care about the mobile app, be sure to check out the timestamps, that way you can just skip ahead and not have to listen to all the desktop stuff. So the first thing we're gonna do is sign up. Now, I've already signed up. However, it's fairly simple. You're gonna to have to provide an email, a phone number, some account details. You're gonna to have to provide ID, so either a driver's license or passport. Proof of address, this is going to be any bill, a utilities bill, phone bill, anything that has your legal name and address on it. It can't be more than three months old. And lastly, you're gonna to have to do the enhanced identity verification. This will require a mobile device that's connected to the internet and essentially they're gonna provide you a QR code that you scan with your phone's camera and you'll see a link pop up. Just click that, it'll open up your web browser and then you're gonna to have to follow steps and do two activities. It's gonna open up your camera, you're gonna to have to film your face and repeat a series of numbers and then you're gonna to have to turn your head to Le to the left or right, the app will let you know. And when you're all done, you submit, and then you'll be able to start trading right away. Another thing I would suggest doing is two-factor authentication, especially when it comes to crypto. I mean, do it with every app, do it with your email, do it with Facebook, but especially with crypto, since it's your money, you want to have that extra security feature. It's essentially a key to get inside your crypto account. So I suggest either Google Auth or Authy. There are plenty of options out there. Now that our account is approved, we can go ahead and fund. So to fund your account, you can choose either wire transfer if you're a baller or simply an e-transfer. If you click e-transfer, you're gonna choose your financial institution. I'm just gonna pick one at random. And then they're gonna provide you with the email you have to send it to, as well as a code that you're gonna put in the message of the e-transfer. It can take up to 30 minutes. However, I just did it and it literally took one minute. While we're on the fun page, we can click here and you'll notice that if you wanna send Bitcoin or Ethereum to this account, it's not a typical wallet. What it's gonna do is it's gonna generate a one-time code or a one-time key. So if you are sending Bitcoin or Ethereum to your Coinberry accounts, do not save these addresses, do not save these keys in your other exchange, as sometimes they offer you the ability to save the address just for more convenience, but do not save this as you will lose all your money. Next, we have the activities page, the first on the in the header. Here you can just see the weekly, daily, monthly price of Bitcoin, Litecoin, all the coins they offer. So we're gonna go ahead and buy some Ethereum in this tutorial. So I'm gonna click up here, buy and sell. So if you wanna buy a coin, you're in buy. If you wanna sell a coin, you go to sell. I don't have any coins, so I'm gonna click buy and I'm gonna click Ethereum. Now you have the choice to do a market price or a limit order. Limit order, you get to decide what price you wanna get in at. Market price is gonna just buy it for whatever the, the current market value of Ethereum is at. So I'm gonna go ahead and put $50. That way we save 50 for the mobile version. I'm gonna click preview. So just to preview my order, I will get 0.01212 ETH for my $50 at a price of 4,125. This counts the markup fee. And if we go check the current price of Ethereum, it's about 4,028. So they're charging a roughly $100 markup per ETH. So I'm gonna go ahead and click place buy order. And there we go, we have 0.012 ETH. If we refresh our page, you will notice that I now have 0.012 ETH for a value of roughly $50. The next thing you can do on Coinberry is withdraw your money. You have two options here. Either you want to take out your Canadian currency, in which case you'll e-transfer or wire transfer, 
or you can send your Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, and Litecoin. There doesn't seem to be Stellar or Bitcoin Cash as an option here, even though they offer them as coins. So to send Ethereum, you just enter the amount of Ethereum you have. I obviously don't have 500 Ethereum. So I'm just gonna click max right here for simplicity. Oh, and when you look at that, I'm up 11 cents. Woo. And then I'm gonna need to enter my Ethereum wallet address. Make sure it is only an Ethereum wallet address. If you put Ethereum Classic or Bitcoin or any other coin address, you're gonna lose all your money. So I'm just gonna enter my Ethereum address here. If you made a mistake, it usually warns you, hey, this is not a, a valid Ethereum address. And once you have the address, you can hit send. I can't hit send since I haven't had my account for 24 hours, but all you would have to do is preview order. They're gonna give you the transaction summary and then you'll just have to confirm. Cool, so next we have the Coinberry Pay feature. This feature allows you to pay with Bitcoin, donate with Bitcoin, or tip people with Bitcoin. They also give you an address to start accepting Bitcoin payments since with Coinberry, you don't have an official wallet. That way you can't share that link due to the fact that it's a one-time use link. Another feature they have is Autopilot. Autopilot is an easy way to dollar cost average into a cryptocurrency. That way you're not buying it all at once. So if the price of Bitcoin goes down significantly and fast, you won't take a huge hit because you dollar cost averaged in. So your prices are all over the place. You might've got some at 30,000, 31,000, 35,000, rather than just buying it all in one shot. So to do this, we're just gonna click get started. We're gonna pick a currency and then I can choose weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, daily. You'll see the available amount that I have left. Here, I'll just put $1, continue. And then if I activated this, it's gonna buy $1 a day until I run out of Canadian funds. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that since we need that $50 for the mobile tutorial. And finally, we have invite friends. So what's really cool about is that for every friend you invite, you get $20 and they get $20. But when you invite five friends, you get a $25 bonus. When you invite 10 friends, you get $50. 15 friends, $100, 30 friends, $300. So if you have 30 friends who really want to get into crypto, Coinberry could be a great option for you because you'll get, not only will you get the $20 per person, so $600, you will get a $475 bonus on top of that. So you can earn $1,075 just for inviting people to use Coinberry. And if you want to use my referral link, remember it's in the description down below. Next, we're going to be using the mobile Coinberry app to buy and sell Bitcoin. So there's gonna be one extra security feature in the mobile app where you're gonna to have to set up a special pin every time you log into your account. So here we're on the homepage and you can see I could buy, sell, I could fund, I could withdraw, and there's also a price alert feature. So we're gonna check this all out. So to start off, we're gonna click fund and then you have two options. You can either add cryptocurrencies to your Coinberry account, but this doesn't operate like a regular wallet. Normally your Bitcoin address, you can share it and you keep it for life. On Coinberry, it only works once. So as soon as you use it, it's gonna generate a new address for you. So be sure not to share that on your social media accounts because the address won't be valid after one person sends you Bitcoin. In our case, we're gonna click CAD and then from there you can choose e-transfer, wire transfer if you're balling or referral program, but we're gonna click e-transfer. You're gonna choose your financial institution. We're gonna pick one at random, hit next. And then from there, you're gonna have the information you need to send any transfer like the email, and you're gonna to have to put in a message. I just finished doing this and it took roughly one to two minutes, so it was extremely fast and I was really impressed. Now that we've deposited our money, we're gonna go ahead and buy some Ethereum. So to do that, we're gonna click buy and sell. We're gonna select Ethereum from the list. And then from here, you have two options. You can either do market, which just buys at the current market price, or limit where you can set a specific price. So if you don't wanna buy it over $4,000, you can put 3,950, and then it won't buy Ethereum until Ethereum hits that price, if it ever does again. So in our case, we're gonna do market. I'm gonna enter $50. I'm gonna hit next. You get a little preview of your order you see the markup that they charge you. So they're charging me roughly $1.04. If we look at the current price, it's about 4,031. So they're charging roughly $110. I'm gonna go ahead and click buy. I get a little confirmed screen telling me that my order has gone through with a confirmation number. And there we go, you officially have Ethereum. Now your homepage acts as a wallet. And if you look here, we can see that I have $100 of Ethereum or 0.02 ETH. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click withdraw. So you have two options. You could either withdraw Canadian funds, so either an e-transfer or wire transfer, or you can send Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, or Litecoin. For some reason, I don't see Stellar or Bitcoin Cash, even though you could buy them on this app. And what you would do is you click the currency you want, you enter the amount, or you just hit max. 
And then you'll either need to scan a QR code or enter an Ethereum address. If you're sending Ethereum, be sure to only put an Ethereum address, not Ethereum Classic, not Bitcoin. If you put a wallet address of another coin for any coin, so Bitcoin to Ethereum, Ethereum to XRP, XRP to ADA, you lose all your money. So it always has to be a valid address for that specific coin. In my case, since I just verified my account and I just funded it, I won't be able to send any cryptocurrencies for 24 hours. But after that, all you'd have to do is hit confirm and then you're gonna get a confirmation screen, click accept and your cryptocurrencies will have been sent. So the next feature we're gonna look at is autopilot. Autopilot is a good way of dollar cost averaging. Essentially, instead of buying Bitcoin or Ethereum all at once at one specific price, you can set it that it buys it daily, weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly. That way, if the price changes dramatically, you won't be taking a huge hit because you dollar cost averaged in. So I'm gonna go ahead and click ETH, and then you can select daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly. In my case, I only have one penny left. I'm gonna click next, and then it would buy one penny per month automatically of Ethereum. And it gives you an approximation, so 8 p.m. on the third of the month, every single month, until it runs out of money. But I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. We're gonna go back to the home page. Finally, we have the price alert feature. So if we click this, you can set up a buy or sell alert. So essentially you can set it up that if the price of Ethereum goes to $5,000, it'll send you an alert like, hey, Ethereum's at $5,000, you want it to sell or you want it to buy. So this is a great way of having custom notifications rather than looking at your phone every 20 seconds to check if the price of ETH has hit $5,000 yet. And once I've created it back on the price alert page, you'll see next to ETH, I have $5,000. So my alert is ready. And when it hits that number, I'll get a notification. And back on the homepage, you could see price alerts is green because it is now on. The next thing you can do is refer a friend. So you just click earn 20 on top. And for every friend you refer, you and them both get $20. Thing that's cool about Coinberry is that after five friends, you get a bonus of $25. After 10, you get $50. After 15, you get $100. And after 30, you get $300. So not only can you earn $600 by referring 30 friends, but you can also earn an extra $475 just for referring up to 30 people. So if you know 30 people who want to get into crypto, this is a great option for you. And there you have it. That's how you use the Coinberry app to buy, sell, send, withdraw cryptocurrencies from your phone or desktop. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If there is another exchange you'd like me to do a tutorial on, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to use my referral codes so we each get $20 when you sign up to Coinberry. Give this video a big thumbs up, hit subscribe, the bell notification. Thanks for tuning in to the Crypto Gorilla. Peace.